Things didn't change for me in my business until I got rid of the fear of failure and the fear of embarrassment. That next year, I 6X'd my income. I'm sure you can relate to this when I say that agents have big goals. Every year, they set big goals for themselves. And at the end of the year, they don't achieve it. Can anyone relate to this? Yeah, right here. I have so many agents. I have so many agents that are like, I want to do this and this and this. I want to make 500 grand this year. And I was like, dude, you haven't even made 100. You need to understand that you can only achieve to the extent of what you're programmed to achieve. This isn't really talked about in this industry much because people don't really understand the solution for it. But who's here heard of limiting beliefs? Of course. Of course. Limiting beliefs. We all know what it is, but we don't know how to solve them. You know, most people die with them. Let me give you an example. Fear of failure. Oh man, I would love to try that new lead source that everyone's talking about, but it's expensive and I don't know if I'm going to convert. So uh, I, I won't do it. I'll just stick to the thing that I've been doing and not branch off. Or uh, a fear of success. You know, I can, I can make those cold calls, but... If I set that appointment, I don't even know what I would say. I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to do a listing presentation. I, I might not want to do it. You know, these, these limiting beliefs stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. Yeah, man, people can only achieve to the extent of what they're programmed to achieve. Like literally just this morning, some guy was like, dude, I haven't been working out the past month and 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 Aaron, and Aaron the thing about me is if I don't get my workout in the morning I have a terrible day I won't get shit done in the day and I have to tell him to shut up and say why are you telling yourself that you think if you don't work out in the morning you're just not going to have a productive day how is that serving you how is that belief helping you why would you hang on to that belief yeah, how are these thoughts serving me, right? That's so. Uh... Right. They're not. So firstly, for you guys, I want you guys to check yourself. You know? When you see symptoms of laziness and procrastination, that's a surface level symptom of a deeper issue. Laziness and procrastination is not the issue. That's not it. That's avoidance behaviors of the deeper cause. Okay? And until you get rid of that, you will continue to cycle in these patterns of behaviors to branch it outside of real estate into your life. You know, it can show in your finances with your repeated money patterns. How are you spending your money? Does it go as quickly as it came? That probably has to do with the belief of money's hard to get. I might not get it again. I need to spend it quick. You know, it, it comes from coming from a poor family. That's definitely something that I've struggled with in relations. It's, do you keep dating the same type of person? Is there a same outcome that happens at the end of that relationship? What's the pattern? What's the, are there negative patterns in your life that you may or may not have realized? What are the same things that keep happening in your life that you're like, oh, it happened again. Oh, well. Or in your business, the most common thing is avoidance behaviors of the things you need to do. Not... You know, uh, I, I, I know I should be doing that thing, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to scroll on Instagram. Or however that may look like to you. But first, guys, I want you to be catching these avoidance behaviors and negative patterns. It's, a, it's, it's pretty personal. These can be pretty personal problems. But is anyone here thinking, oh, yeah, I... Wait a minute, that does happen to me. Oh, anyone sure. here? For sure. For sure. You were able to give us an I example? Know, I know how uh, I will avoid following up because I don't, I, I take losing or not getting listings pretty hard. Mm -hmm. You know, if I go to an appointment and I don't get it, um, I will, to avoid that, I will just, it's hard for me to be consistent in my follow up. Okay. So you're not following up. And this is, by the way, this is something that so many, so many agents face. People, so basically what you're saying is 
you're avoiding following up to avoid the rejection of them not signing the agreement at the end? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, who's, who's dealt with that before? Fear of rejection, fear of failure. You ever wanted to go talk to that girl, but you thought that she might reject me and I'll be embarrassed. So you don't go talk to her? That's fear, that's fear of rejection. What if you knew, what if you knew she was going to positively react and want to go on a date with you? You'd go. It's that belief. It's that programming. You can only achieve to the extent of what you're programmed to achieve. You know, if you, if you knew that agent or that seller would sign the agreement with you, Justin, would you follow up with them? For sure. There you go. Yeah. So you can squeeze that bottle all you want, that 15 in one shampoo bottle. But if that clog is at the, is, if that's, if there's blockage in that spout or the hole where the soap comes out of, you're not really going to get much. So if you guys have like these grand goals for this next year, you can achieve them, but you need to check for the blockage. What are your current beliefs? What are your current patterns? What are you avoiding? So what, what have you done in particularly to combat limiting beliefs? So I'll give you guys a little bit of background and maybe I should have started here. I grew up very poor with immigrant parents and they had a lot of disempowering beliefs about money and about life and how life worked. It was very scarce mindset that I grew up in. So by default, I developed all of those beliefs as well. You know, so I think at the age of 25, the most I ever made was 30K, you know? How can you, how can you expect to get anywhere in life financially when you believe money is hard to come by, when you're not deserving of it, when you're not deserving of success, when you believe that money leaves as quickly as it came, with money's hard to make, how can you expect to get anywhere financially with those beliefs? You know, you're living in scarcity and, be, and acting on scarcity the rest of your life, you know? Same things with success, same things with, with relationships. Man, I'm not deserving of love. Why would anyone want to talk to me? You know, they might abandon me. It's these beliefs that I, I, I really grew up with. And so I had terrible relationships with women. I was terrible with my finances. I was terrible with my communication. My quality of friends wasn't so great because I wasn't so great. It's because I had all these limiting beliefs in my head. So Aaron, what this morning, what were your affirmations? Dude, great question. Affirmations are garbage. They only work if you believe them. Pat, if you told yourself every single day the sun is blue, how long till you believe it? Never. You're lying to yourself. If your beliefs aren't aligned with your affirmations, yeah, you'll affirmation never believe right. it. You'll never well, believe it. Well, that would be a bad affirmation to tell me that the sun is blue every day because that doesn't achieve anything for myself, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't achieve anything for yourself, Pat. But it's if I, if I was, you know, great listening agent, I'm consistent, and people like talking to me. And yeah, yeah, no, those are those are better belief. Those are better affirmations than saying that the sun is blue. Yeah. But also, if you understand, and I'm not saying anyone here. I'd I'd hope anyone here isn't in this realm. But I remember when I used to be. I remember when I used to be. I remember when my beliefs were so bad. But I would tell myself, I would lie to myself every day for like 30 minutes a day. Man, I love myself. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Guess if any of them came true. No, I was lying to myself every day. And now to answer Justin's question, it wasn't until I learned how to reprogram my mind. If you really break it down, guys, limiting beliefs are not logical. They are completely irrational. So if you can pinpoint the moment this issue started with you guys, where this limiting belief came from, where this limiting belief started, and ask yourself, what is there to learn from this event that'll allow me to let go of this belief completely? And you start learning, you start learning. I'll give you an example. 
one of the very first limiting beliefs that I ever uncovered was people don't want to say hi to me. I, I believe that people didn't want to say hi to me. And so like what this shows in my life, and by the way, guys, your actions, your behaviors, and your choices and decisions are all based on your beliefs. I can have a conversation with one of you and in 10 minutes, based on the way you speak, based on the way you answer, based on your life decisions, I have an assessment on what your beliefs are about life. I, I, I can read what beliefs you have about yourself and how you view the world. So for me, because I have the belief of people don't want to say hi to me, what that looked like, my behavior wise was if, you know, Joey, if you and I were walking down past each other in a hallway, in a narrow hallway, I would do whatever I could to not lock eyes with you and just flip to the, you know, the weather app on my phone to look like I was busy so I didn't have to confront the reality of my reality of this guy doesn't want to say hi to me. That well, sounds like significance to me. It's a terrible way to live, man. So I, I remember that was my very first limiting belief that I ever broke down. It's just completely illogical. You know, it's, you have to, you have to ask yourself, what is there to learn from this to allow me to let go of this belief? And it's, 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 it's learnings of like, you know, I'm, I'm worthy of being talked to. I've, I've got things to say. Like, why would they not want to say hi to me? I'm a cool guy. And it's these, it's these, you have to like, to remove a limiting belief, you have to rationalize that limiting belief until it becomes no longer consciously and unconsciously until it no longer makes sense. I've, I've never had a, I've never heard anyone break it down like that, but that's the breakdown to remove a limiting belief. You need to pinpoint where that belief came from and then rationalize that belief. So in, so in depth that it just no longer exists in your mind at a conscious and an unconscious level. Dang. I did it. <laughs> You're gonna drop the mic now. <laughs> I wish I gave you. I wish I had. I wish I had a more step-by-step -step applicable thing for you guys to do. But the unfortunate truth is, I don't know many people that know this. You know, to remove a limiting belief. And guys, I just had to switch my screen. It was just so laggy on my computer, um, so my angle is a little different. But ultimately, to get rid of a limiting belief, you need to learn you need to break down the belief and make the realization. And Patrick, it sounds like to get rid of your anxiety, you had a realization that you were in control the entire time and yeah. you understood that you controlled your mind. I'm assuming that's just what it sounded like. When I learned how to do this, I did it for all my friends. I was so excited. I couldn't believe this is a thing that I, that's like, you could just learn. I did it with my friends. I did it with my family. I do it with my agents. You know, I want to like just off the top of my head, I have an agent. She has trouble laying down boundaries with people because she believes that other people's feelings matter more than mine. And as a result, she can lay down boundaries for herself and her family. She's this, you know, she's not a young person. She's like a middle-aged woman and she's lived her life not being able to set boundaries for herself. How do you run a business like that? How do you run a successful relationship like that? You can't. And in like 10 minutes, we removed it. I call her the next day. I'm like, hey, how's it going with your ex-husband? And she's like, dude, I set boundaries. I let it, I made him get out. Because my, fe my feelings are priority. Why, why have I been prioritizing someone else's the entire time? That's the result of removing that belief. And this, this all ties back to the beginning. When I told you guys, you can only achieve what you're programmed to achieve. I'll, I'll leave with this guys. Um, <laughs> never mind. Oh, come on. I, won't go there. I, I just want to cement, like, Hit it. I, I want to cement with you guys, how big of a deal, how impactful limiting beliefs are. And most people aren't aware of them. Most people don't even know they have it and they just die with it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give a oh, fine. I'll give you two examples. I'll give you the real estate one and I'll give you the embarrassing personal one. 
Um, things didn't change for me in my business until I got rid of the fear of failure and the fear of embarrassment. I had trouble marketing myself. I had trouble getting myself to do work because cold, I got a cold call. Well, what if I fail? And then what if my, what if my aunt and uncle see me fail? That's embarrassing. What if everyone sees me as fail? Man, this fear of embarrassment and the fear of failure was crippling to my motivation to do things. So I would just be lazy and procrastinate. Surface level symptoms of a deeper issue. These are just avoidance behaviors. And when I got rid of the fear of failure and the fear of embarrassment of from what other people thought, that next year I 6 x my income. So really, again, assess what your blockages are because they're not going to go away until you can rationalize them away. And if you want some help with that, like reach out to me, maybe, maybe we can do something together, but um, I'll give you the personal story. This just happened. I was dating this chick that I thought I was going to marry. This is like back in October. This is pretty fresh. I thought I was going to marry her. But the entire time, man, I was so controlling. Because I didn't want to lose her. And what happens, you know, it's self-fulfilling. If you believe something about yourself or how the world works, you end up getting that. So I ended up losing her. You know, I pushed her away because I was so controlling. It wasn't because I'm a bad person, but it's because what I realized was I had a fear of abandonment. She's going to abandon me. She's going to abandon me. Because of what's, what's happened in my past as a child. So because of my belief, my behaviors, actions, choices, all led to controlling behaviors to try to prevent her from abandoning me. As soon as I figured that out, I was able to get rid of it. And now I, now I see, now I see what, what happened, you know? Hindsight's 20-20. But if I, if I had kept that belief, I would have never gotten anywhere in my future relationships. It would have, I would have had that same negative cycle. Fear of abandonment, control, control the person. Get dumped, fear of abandonment, control the person, get dumped. It's a, it's a cycle. It's a negative pattern. And if you, again, guys, the part, ending words, find your negative patterns in your life. What keeps happening? Do you keep coming back to the same addictions? What? Well, I, I don't know. But find it. And in that pattern, you can find the limiting belief that's creating that pattern. And if you need help finding those patterns or, or you have a limiting belief that you'd like to get rid of, um, DM me and we can work something out.